it's a circle. Sunrise. The thing that people don't know about him, the people who are young, was that he was a wonderful singer and songwriter. He wrote hundreds of songs, and he had two big hits, Cats in the Cradle and Taxi, but there were many, many other songs. They were called story songs. He told stories from life, and I think that's one of the things that really captured the attention of people and captured their hearts, because he, he kind of spoke from the experience of the average person. So that's the first thing. The second thing, of course, is uh, Harry was a social activist. He, he was very much involved in all kinds of issues, but especially hunger and poverty. I met him in 1973. He came on my radio show, and afterwards he said, that was good, come to my house for dinner. And when I did, we talked a lot about some crazy ideas that I had about fighting hunger, including doing a concert similar to the Bangladesh concert that had happened the year before, but this one was for Africa. Harry said, great, that's a good idea. I also talked about doing a hungerthon, getting a radio station to let us take over the station for a whole day. Oh, that's good too, he said. So we moved on both of those things, actually. And it was his idea to start Why Hunger? And we did that in 1975. And our focus uh, was always on moving beyond just getting food to people. That's what I call the first dimension of fighting hunger. The second dimension is getting people out of poverty. So we talked about that, having services for people to get child care and health care and jobs and housing and all of that. And uh, the third level, of course, is fighting the great ills of society, racism and sexism and uh, economic injustice. Harry was in for all of that. And so we focused on uh, starting grassroots organizations, actually. And the first one we started was uh, over in New Jersey. Uh, two guys came to us and said, we want to start this organization. We want to call it Wine New Jersey. And we said, not a good title. Well, why New Jersey? Because it's just a bad joke. Uh, but they started the Center for Food Action in New Jersey, which still exists. And then uh, I came up with this idea of having a hotline, a hunger hotline in New York City. And we did it. We got that started. And then we also did uh, created the Long Island Cares, which is now the Harry Chapin Food Bank. Harry was involved in all of these things. He raised money for them. He spoke about them. He went to dozens and dozens of high schools and colleges. And I still meet people to this day who say, Harry spoke in my high school. And they still have fond memories of him. So for all of you who are uh, perhaps uh, over 40, then you perhaps remember Harry. But for younger people, you need to know that he was a hero. He was someone who dedicated his life to music, certainly, and his family, but also for fighting.